OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, just made an announcement. ChatGPT is upgraded and in a big way. This video is going to go over ChatGPT 16K. It used to be 4K. We're going to go over ChatGPT 16K and what it means for me and you, people who make a living online. What implications? What can we do with it now? How can we increase our workflows for efficiency and accuracy? So let's jump into it. We are on OpenAI's blog, the function calling and other API updates. We're announcing these things. Let's jump right into it. So today we're following up on some exciting updates and we're going to go over each in turn. New function calling capability in the chat completions API, updated and more steerable. What does steerable mean? Versions of GPT-4 and 3.5 Turbo, very interesting. And then here's the one, new 16K content version of GPT-3.5 Turbo versus the standard 4K version. This one is gonna have the most implications for people like me and you. And on top of that, we have 75 and 25% cost reductions on different things. For us, we mostly use GPT-3.5 Turbo and that has a 25% cost reduction. Very nice. And they are announcing the deprecation timeline for these two models. What does that mean? Let's figure out what these mean and what it's going to change in our lives. As I go through each of these, I'm going to give you real life use cases that you can expect to see in the future for our use case, right? We're bloggers, we're affiliate marketers. So the first one is function calling. So it says that GBT4 and 3.5 are now capable of function calling. Create chatbots that answer questions, convert natural language into APIs, extract structured data from text. This basically means that OpenAI's ChatGPT will be able to take an idea that you give it and create a function out of it, which is just a box that programmers can call upon later. This is one of the first steps for this to become like a truly intelligent model, because if we can give it regular language, regular language from people, create functions, little boxes it can call upon later, it starts to get a memory, a function memory. This is how programmers work. We call upon functions. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We already created the wheel over there. Just pull the wheel off the shelf and now we're using it now what you need to know is that the programs that are going to come from OpenAI's ChatGPT now are going to increase the software is going to be much much different now on top of that we have new models GPT-4 and 3.5 are still around but there's a difference GPT-4 includes an updated and improved model of function calling. We've been over this, but it also has this one. Do you see that little thing right there? 32K, hello, what does that mean? That is a big deal, I'm gonna get into that. So it includes the same improvements as this model of GPT-4, along with an extended content length for better comprehensive and larger text. That's insane. There's a wait list, I'm gonna talk about this. GPT-3.5 Turbo includes the same function calling as GPT-4, we went over this, as well as a more reliable steerability. What does steerability mean? Steerability means that we as programmers can steer the language better. It means we can have more precision on the tone and the output, right? There is a wild card factor when you're dealing with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Sometimes it hallucinates. This is going to help with these type of things, especially with tone and precision of outputs. Now, if that's not enough, GPT 16K, it means that the model can now support 20 pages of text in a single request. You remember when you're using ChatGPT? ChatGPT, type it in, it's like, oh, that's too much. Now it's four times as much stuff that you can put in there. Why is this useful? Because a lot of things, even Word Galaxy uses a recursive model. It refers upon itself over and over and over again. The way we created Word Galaxy was that it refers to the previous chunk of text, boom, to write a good article. It has limitations because it was a 4K model. Now for you, if you like doing articles and things in ChatGPT, you no longer have that restriction. Four times the amount of text you can input. You're not going to get thrown that's a huge deal. The implications, I haven't even thought of all the implications as if you have an idea how you're going to use this, please type it in the comments. Now moving on to model deprecation. So it says today we'll begin by basically the old models are out, the new ones are in. If you want to know more about it, go here to the GitHub is what they're telling us. Evals. This is a function, a, a GitHub library. It's a framework for evaluating large language models or systems built using them. It also includes an open source registry of challenge and evals. So basically what this is saying, like the old models, Models, they're still 3.5 and 4. They're still based on the same things, but we made them better. How did we make them better? They're not really telling us yet. Let's see. If you're using ChatGPT in Playground, is it better? Have you noticed a difference? What's what's going on out there? And we also have lower price, and we continue to make our systems more efficient. So the ChatGPT 3.5 model is 25% more affordable. It was not expensive to begin with. We don't see. Do you see here? Is there a part that's saying ChatGPT 4 is more affordable? No. 
right? Is there a reason for that? What do you think? Is there a reason that the ChatGPT4 was left out of this lowering cost? Well, it probably just costs a lot more to run. So what we're seeing here, what I believe we're seeing here is the beginnings of efficiency in this technology. As time went on, GPUs, computers, they went down in price, right? So will these models are gonna become more affordable and they're gonna be more powerful. Think of the connotations, but let's jump into how to use this update for our own good. So test number one, we're gonna use Google. Very simply, let's type in the best beaches to visit in Hawaii. What a better place to talk about. Look at all these wonderful places, these wonderful beaches. And then we're gonna click, control click, boom. Boom and boom on the top three. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna format each one into text, HTML text, and we're gonna push them to a Word document or a Google document rather. This Google document is 6,500 words. That right there will be pushing the very limits if not exceeding the limits of ChatGPT 3.5 4K model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the playground and have some fun. Now, before I show you what I did, I wanna be very clear. Click on mode and click on chat, the beta version right there, and then click down here to the Turbo 16K. That is what I am working with. That's how you do this. Once you get that set up, the system area is where you're gonna put your input. And I've already done this here. So I said, please review the articles, one, two, and three below and type reviewed once complete. And the assistant said reviewed, wonderful. And I said, please reference article one, two, and three and provide a list of every Hawaii beach. And that's the goal. I wanna list. I want to take all my competitors things and I want to talk about each and every one of the top three is talked about and more but at least this will give me a list so here's a list and I had to prod it a little bit keep going because that's typical of the playground and chat GPT keep going and I said compile every beach mentioned and provide a weighted list for me to talk about in my article and there you go right there you go there's 20 of them beautiful so experiment number one with six what was it six thousand sixty five hundred words worked let's try another one so for experiment number two we just have more information i think i got seven articles it's twelve thousand words and i will tell you i was tapping out the system frequently like i think i was pushing it a little too hard but let's see how it did so this is what i was asking it i said please review the articles and provide a list of the most frequently used keywords in the article look Here's the most frequently keywords according to ChatGPT. I have a big problem with the output on test number two. I'm going to get into that in a second. Let's keep going with it. Uh, list of beaches mentioned in each article via table format. And that's pretty good. Article one has all these beaches. Article two has all these beaches. And here's my problem. Article four, five, six. It's like a teenager who just gets bored with it and starts, eh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to give you the real. Like these were good. These are the things in article one and two. And then three, four, and five, and six, it's like it gives us like five. And I know there's like 16 in these articles. ChatGPT is like, like a bored teenager still. That's a big problem I have with it. And I said, rewrite it and make the list exhaustive. And then I tapped it out. You can see the error code right there. This model's maximum content length is 16385 tokens. So let's try one more test for our use case as bloggers and affiliate marketers. So test number three is taking an old text and text. Why would I be using a text? You have to use your imagination on why I may do this. But Shakespeare's sonnets, let's take this, let's push it over here. Let's see how many words this thing is. How many words? 17,000 words. Let's push it to playground and I'm gonna ask it to provide a synopsis of each portion of text in plain English. And it did a really good job. It did a really good job. I was impressed with this one. I was impressed. I did have to cut down the word count a bit. It wasn't truly uh, 17,000 when it was all said and done. I think it was more like 12,000. We were tapping out the limits still yet, but it can take large books and condense them into, you know, sizable bite-sized blog-sized bites, right? Think about it. There's, there's, there's good use cases for this type of stuff. So please, in the comments, tell me, what are you thinking the use cases are gonna be with this new technology? It's gonna continue to get better and better. And we kind of have to put our futuristic caps on to even, to even consider the possibilities. But right now, it can take more text and it's a little bit cheaper. That's the main points, right? If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share, comment, all of these things. We have an ongoing conversation, it seems, in the comment sections. I see a lot of the same people. I really appreciate that, super cool. Um, check out the masterclass I run. It's over eight hours of content and it's growing weekly. It was all made this year, right, in 2023. All of it started in March of 2023. It's very pertinent to what's going on with the new technologies coming out. Very good masterclass. And on top of that, if you want to join the newsletter, the newsletter I send out about two a week, very good stuff. I give you kind of like what's going on in my life, how I'm thinking. I get to be a little bit more creative in my prose and how I write. But nonetheless, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching and I'll check you on the next one.